All right, let's talk about bearings. Now, a lot of people struggle with this one because it's sort of hard to, to imagine, but um, you know, we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. Um, so in bearings, we talk about there being a directional, directional bearing, which is like north 20 degrees east, or there's a true bearing, which is the one that we sort of look at, which is a three digit bearing um, that's out of 360 that helps describe where you're going. Um, so let's have a look at an example. Let's say I had, let's try this one here. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at an example to do for you. So I've got, this is uh, the origin here is called town A. And we're going on a trip to town B, which is 123 degrees that way. All right. 123 degrees uh, back. <clears throat> and we want to know the, the true bearing of each of them. Okay. Now, a couple tricks that we need to know as well. Um, hopefully you know your parallel line um, trick. I don't know if you remember these, but it's sort of like um, when you're dealing with angles, as long as these two lines here are parallel and this one's straight, then you know this angle is the same as this angle and that one and that one. And these angles are the same as well. Uh, they're all equal. So that's something that you need to know for for your bearings. Um, you also need to know like complementary and supplementary angles, which is like, does it add up to 180? Um, so um, with that in mind, if I wanted to find um, the true bearing of town A to town B, all right, which means I need to, I want to know this bearing here, nice and easy. It's just 360 minus 123 degrees which will give me 237 degrees. True. All right. If I want to know my bearing back, that's a little bit harder. All right. So what I encourage people to do is when you've got a question like this, I'm just going to redraw it over here. All right. is whenever you have another point, I encourage you to draw the, um, like a Cartesian plane again, or the, the compass again, okay? So now, we wanna know this angle here, right? Because true bearing is always measured from directly north, so we wanna know what this is. Okay, there's a couple ways we can go about doing that. Um, my first thought is we need to find this angle in here and then we be able to figure something out with these angles, okay? <coughs> so it's like, okay. Um, <coughs> now, if this is 123, this right angle in here is 90, <coughs> which means this angle in here is 123 minus 90, right, which is 33 degrees. So now I know that that angle in there is 33 degrees, right? <clears throat> I can probably, some of you might be able to figure out that this will be the, the um, I think it's a supplementary angle, but um, using our angles here, right? Because keep in mind these compasses are parallel, right? Because north is always straight. Um, so um, we have, trying to find one that matches. We've got a situation kind of like this middle bit, okay? So if this is 33, so is this, right? We also know that if we could solve for this bit, and that would give us our x. So whichever way you want to go about it, um, I'm just going to do that's 33, which means this is 33, which means this one, this x, will be equal to 90 minus 33. Because again, that's a right angle, which is, 57 degrees, all right? 
Um, it's a good habit to do your true variance as three digits. So 0, 057 degrees true is our final answer. Um, yeah, look, bearings are fiddly, um, but it just takes a bit of practice getting used to them, I guess. So, yeah, don't give up. I'll do a harder one. Um, we'll say a boat travels. Let's say a boat travels in the direction of um, north, 30 degrees west. All right. And they travel all the way up here. I'm going to make sure I get that in shot. And they've traveled for um, 175 kilometers. All right. We've got that. Um, Okay, now the question that I get asked is, so this is from point A to point B, is how far directly north and how far directly west do they travel? Okay, now um, depending on your, um, the way that you like to work it out, you might be able to do that. For me, I'm always going to redraw this triangle, all right? So this is 175. I know that that's due north, and that's something, and that's due west, and that's something else, all right? And they're the two values that they want us to find. We have the value in here. All of a sudden, it's like, hang on a minute. We can do this. This is um, Sokotoa, you know? So let's, uh, let's, let's do that. So we'll do the, um, the x first. So we got um, adjacent and hypotenuse is cos. Cos 30 degrees equals x over 175, which means it's cos 30 times 175. Let's do that. Gives me one so x equals one fifty one point five five kilometers, All right? And now the y is opposite and hypotenuse, so it's just sine, which is basically the same, All right? Sine thirty, sorry, times one seventy five gives us y. Gives me y equals 87.5 kilometers. All right. Um, so yeah, you can see sort of how bearings questions link to trig really easily. Um, hopefully you found that interesting. Sorry, I just realized I didn't, I wrote down that last bit without you being able to see. That's all right. Um, yeah, hopefully you found this interesting. Have a nice day. Bye.